1, B, Roman numeral 4. Greetings, Amerawanicans. I'm Tom. I'm Galen. And Disco's over there. And this is your 420 edition of 15 Minutes of Fume. I heard your shoulder pop when you did that. It was really loud. Gnarly. You body horror. That? Gross. So, we are celebrating the unofficial holiday of April the 20th, known commonly as 420. It is the weed day. Um, <laughs> a few years back, we at the lab started doing an annual tradition of a 420 scent that was available for a short time. And the scent was, in our, you know, ever impressive wit, a uh, blacklight reactive poster. And it was a tribute to head shops and, you know, all of the weird, mysterious memories that we have from youth of um, encountering weed in the wild and not knowing anything about it. The scent utilizes the lab's Cannabis Accord, which is a beautiful, gorgeous, lush, green, sticky, dank, you know, humana humana uh, scent note and uh, <laughs> that does not get you high and should not be consumed internally. Right. Um, I, we cannot state this enough. Please don't do this. And uh, so that's what we've done in the past. And this year, we have blown it wide open. We have expanded Blacklight Reactive Poster into five different scents. Five different posters. Okay? Various, uh, you know, the kinds of posters you might see in a head shop. We've just made it more specific. Yes. I would like to say that I ex tried explaining this to my mom. Uh, on the phone last night, and I was surprised when she actually got it because I was like, you know the um, like black light reactive posters you might maybe see. And she was like, oh yeah, and I was like, okay, well the, then we're kind of expanding. Like I was just like I was approaching everything very cautiously because I'm like, I don't know if she knows what I do. Like, <laughs> right. So I'm just always like, does she know what I'm talking about? Like in terms of like we're releasing these 420 perfumes and we have to film a review video. <laughs> Uh, this collection really <laughs> divides people into those who get it and those who do not, truly. Because already, as an artisan fragrance uh, manufacturer, we are working in a weird microcosm of like what people understand of like the purpose of, and potential of fragrance. You know, uh, this is one of those areas where we're just doing something fun and niche that like isn't for everybody. Not everybody wants to smell like this, mm -hmm. um, but it's also ar art. It's just art. It's an opportunity to create something new and dive into the unexpected. And that's the spirit in which we have created five, 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 five new blacklight reactive poster fragrances, each featuring artwork by tattoo artist John Herndon. I thought it would be really cool to do like almost like a flash tattoo artwork for these posters because we couldn't commission like full scale you know, and to be honest, like the ink that we're able to print these with at the lab is not particularly blacklight reactive. Um, I'm working on hopefully doing a thing where the first 50 of each one sold, we're going to like augment with a little accents of like actual UV paint just for funds. Um, so anyway, uh, we did also imbibe in smoking a little before filming this video. So if we seem a little... If you or can't, if I seem a little more disjointed than usual. If you it's, can't tell, but by the fact that it's five minutes in and we have not even I stopped rambling in that whole story about my mom, I, <laughs> I'm like that's like a stop. Let's person call talking. her. Do you think she would answer if we called her right now? Yes, but I don't like that would be. Come on. Shoot again. I don't know if she would understand that. Like we're recording a video and we're calling you. She'd be like, oh, uh, "Am I on speaker?" Like it would just be. Oh wait, people can hear me. Yeah, she wouldn't like that. No. Moms should she'd be like she'd feel like she's being tricked. Yeah, and I, well, I mean it's like, literally a trick. She is, and I don't. My mom's at work. Um, <laughs> Who else can we call? Disco's mom was named Dottie Pie. I found out from the papers that he accompanied his uh, rescue. Dottie so oh, uh, she is unavailable for, for a phone call. For a phone call at the moment, she's probably <laughs> giving birth to more Pomeranians as we speak. As a so wow, okay, could you? T or derail stuff. that train. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, okay. Should we smell some stuff? A revolutionary idea. Uh -huh. So let's begin at the beginning. We're going to go through these alphabetically. You remember the alphabet from school, right? Everybody? So 
The first one on our list, on our hit list, is Blacklight Reactive Alice Poster. This was originally called Blacklight Reactive Alice in Wonderland Poster, but like, for the sake of fitting all of this on a label, we're just, we just went with Alice, Alice Poster. Yum. You you know who, who Alice, Alice is. is. Like, who else is it? Alice from the Brady Bunch? Alice from <laughs> Resident Evil. <laughs> The three Alice Alice's. Of the, Brady <laughs> the three great Alices of yore. So, um, <laughs> the scent notes are uh, black and. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> black and red currant tarts, <laughs> opium tar accord, roses painted both white and red, clove soaked carnation petals, a squeeze of grapefruit, and a whole lot of weed. So, minus the weed, it's a lot of notes from our Mad Tea Party collection that we have, you know, as part of our general catalog. Kind of com- I love that um, together. Elizabeth, uh, weed perfumer uh, prodigy, um, has kind of pulled in all of those references into like this very weedy perfume. Mm-hmm. Okay, are you ready? You got that? You got I your am. opium, you got your roses, uh, grapefruit, carnation. I'm just babbling. Okay, I didn't smell the grapefruit before. I had and now that is like the first bottle thing this. I smell. I'm Isn't like, that crazy? Is it because I'm high? Because we, yeah, we had smelled these blindly when we got like prototypes of them, and we were like trying to figure out what we, uh, what was even in them. It's funny because when I smelled this before, it smelled so much of weed, and it still smells a lot like weed. But, but because like, I'm altered, I smell the grapefruit. I'm weirdly getting the fruit notes like right off the bat, so. That's fascinating. Like, I'm serious. We, I, I did, you know, I bottled these. And, and I guess the current. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, but, and before, I'm just saying, like, I smelled something totally different. And I'm putting it on the skin. I want more. Okay. We gotta get it. I've gotta, like, truly overwhelm my senses and make this happen. One dot makes you larger. Yes. And one dot makes you small. Wow. To me, okay. So, this just smells really kind of expensive and lavish. Yeah. This green, weedy, grassy note, you know? And then the, um, and then like a kind of a really tasteful, fruity floral. This perfume is weirdly tasteful, considering there is fully a, like, bootleg Alice... (laughs) Alice in Wonderland doodle on the label. Yeah. It's interesting having all these components from the Mad Tea Party collection swirled together like this, um, you really just kind of get a hint of, like... A bit of the whole that story. whole damn tea party. Yeah. Yeah, the whole... It is, like, really, yeah, like, the whole Alice journey. It's possible that it has settled a bit, too, because it was made very recently and then bottled a few days ago. I'm getting more of the rose. <sighs> I mean, it really, there's just, like, a beautiful quiet extravagance to this smell. Oh, and the opium tar. I did. Yeah. I got that. Oh my god. So like that would be the caterpillar note, probably. Yes. Right? Yeah. I'm just like trying to right. match the note to the player. This is definitely, I would say, on the kind of like femier side of the ones that we have today. For sure. You know, like you're an elegant lady who likes to get turned, you know, mm-hmm. before going to, you know, Lady Chillingsworth's annual bonnet promenade. Yes? Come here. I mean, you gotta get high before that. Yeah. That you can't do that sober. Is, that lady is the worst. Disco. I should have given him his CBD treat for this video purely just to c- celebrate, even if he doesn't really need the help relax. He's just like, I dropped the treat. He's just eating it out of my crotch. All right. (laughs) That one's going on the reel. All right. All right. This is beautiful. I love it so much. It's like springy. It's like soft. You know, there's like a petticoat to it. Yes. It's fun. It's fancy. It's a little freaky with the weed. Yes. I mean, it's just a gorgeous perfume next to a joint right kind of thing. like it's truly both of them and last night when I opened it I could smell the joint a lot more and I was like wow it's I like that these have kind of like a barrier to entry a ring past knot that is like you have to be able to like clear this threshold to enjoy the whole picture because as these dry down too 
they do shift and change and different notes kind of yeah. uh, emerge as others evaporate. So like there is like a whole story here, but you first have got to walk through that head shop door. You got to get in the van, you know, before you can go on the ride. Mm -hmm. So it's a very small van in the case of this next one, um, which is Black Light Reactive Clown Poster. <laughs> I could not believe that it was possible to do such a thing. I, I like when when I had the we were doing the poster brainstorming, and I was like, the idea of clown was like I have to lay that at Beth's feet as like a perfume challenge because a I know that she loves it. She's a sicko. She's a real freak, and she loves to do shit like this if the occasion arises. And you know, four twenty. So her answer to this challenge is a perfume that smells like strawberry grease paint, candy floss, squashed roses, and cannabis accord. Now, I don't know what I was expecting, some kind of popcorn-y, peanut-y thing, maybe another banana, I don't know, clown stuff. Clown stuff. Real clown girl shit, you know? <laughs> yeah. And instead, when I opened it and smelled it, I was just completely agog. This like weird strawberry weed Paint, uh, grease paint perfume. In the bottle, there's something kind of warm and toasty drifting up. It really reminds me a bit of Knave of Hearts from aforementioned Mad Tea Party collection because you've got this like uh, the toastiness, I guess, of the weed, and you've got and the, also the candy floss. It's like a burnt sugar, mm -hmm. and then you've got uh, this f delicious fruity floral note coming up, and it is very weedy. The roses are squashed. I don't know how, how exactly a rose smells squashed, but I it's definitely like, get that. There's like a haphazard quality to the processing of the rose petals that imparts them with a real sense of humor. Yes. Yeah, so there's this kind of uneasiness. You know how when you eat a weed, like in a eatable, uh, and there's this like, you can taste it and it kind of makes you feel a little poisoned? Mm -hmm. There's that, because it's mixed with this like really bright, jolly, carefree, fruity floral yeah. candy. And then there's just like this hint of weed that's like, don't eat too much, because you know what's gonna happen. The TV's gonna talk to you again, and you're gonna think it's talking to you personally, and telling you that you're a prophet. That only happened once. <laughs> <laughs> it once is too many. So, so first of all, I have to talk, oh, God, this is fascinating. I'm just like, I am really, oh, wait, 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 oh, I gotta get great. a drop. I gotta get some. Um, I was so enamored with John Herndon's, of all of the illustrations, I didn't know what he would come back with. I knew that it would be exciting and all wrong, and it was. And the clown one with the staircase eyes going back into, you know, wherever, I was so inspired that I actually hired John to give me the tattoo of the clown. That is my commitment to, like, this whole life, um, for better or worse. Uh, if I was going to call my mom, this would be the part where I explained to her that I just got a clown tattoo and apologize, like, in public, so that she has that spiritually. How are you with this? It's so strange. It Weirdly, I mean, it really does give me a kind of, like, demented, um, like, theater experience. Uh. Like, because it's like <laughs> the... Like the candy, the candy floss and the strawberry kind of makes it feel like a strawberry candy almost, but it, it's wrong, and like the sad flowers. So the sad, and speaking the of the, paint the really sad flowers, make it unsettling in a, in a, like a gorgeous way though. It's just dark. The the flowers remind me of almost like a rose water, okay? Because okay. there's almost I'm almost getting a kind of a watery bong watery like quality to this. That makes sense. There's like a kind of a weird. You know, I don't know if it's because of how juicy the strawberry is too, but there's, there's just kind of this like beautiful muddled quality yeah. to this entire video, but the scent in particular. Yeah. And then that like lovely candy floss just kind of sweetens it up because if it was just the strawberries and the rose, maybe it wouldn't really go full circus, you know what I'm saying? But like then it's just like artificially sweetened that to like punch it. So you've got these dimensions of like a like a dark, bitter green, you know, weed poof. Yeah. You're just gonna get stoned and watch disco. <laughs> no, uh, he. No, I'm thinking about the perfume. Yeah. He was just. He was like kind of 
um, on alert, so I was yeah. just seeing how he He's did. fine. I was thinking about the grease paint, oh. which I think is a really interesting note in all of this, too, and it's fascinating how it ties all of it together. And that's where it makes it kind of like a weird, yeah. unsettling Maybe experience. Maybe that's what's going bong water on me, too, because there would be like an interesting mineralic quality, you yeah. know, like some kind of like petroleum. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just like... It's it's kind of like a backstage at the circus smell. Yeah, you know. Yeah, a, a hint of the fun that's going on out there, but a lot of like the work that's going on back here yeah. and all of the OSHA violations. <laughs> um, oh, it's just kind of like completely original. I have never smelled a perfume like this yeah. in my days. For sure. And may never again, except for I'm going to be wearing it a lot because now when I, when people compliment the tattoo, I'll be that freak who's like, there's a perfume that accompanies it. Would you like to smell it? Smell my neck, you know? And then at that point, it's not even a conversation anymore because they're gone. They're gone. And you have found yourself with a new restraining order. <laughs> Add it to the pile. The glove box is full of them and speeding tickets. Uh, so next up, we're doing a um, you know classic, quintessential, blacklight reactive Grim Reaper poster. <laughs> The artwork to this cracks me up so hard because the Reaper is is done reaped. He's like red-eyed, green-faced, has done been reaped. Mm -hmm. He has taken some bong reaps. <laughs> there you go. Um, I knew I'd find it. Uh, <laughs> it's a, uh, a cloak of glossy black patchouli, scorched cedar, gleaming leather, inky musk, charcoal, black champaka petals, uh, and a ca and cannabis accord with a scythe sharp slash of eucalyptus leaf. So already I know scythe I read a. Sharp, you can't even can't do even it. do it. You're scythe fired. Sharp slash. That's a good one. <laughs> okay. Who has more fun writing copy than us? Um, so I know I those dark, notes dark, already dark, were serious. We're Grim like Reaper. marking this as a must for a lot of folks, and then you're maybe um, agnostic when it comes to the cannabis. And we are here to offer you the, you know, possible gateway to a new threshold of scent, uh, scent purgatory. I smell the weed, really, yes. a lot in this one. And the champaka, um, there's like a real... Yes, yeah. and I think that's what's like making it smell super weedy to me too, is just that kind of like... <sighs> head shop. Head shop smell, yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, there's a lot of different incenses for sale here and they're all right next to each other and might all actually be the same in different boxes. The Grim Reaper is baked. Yeah, like it's got like a nice, like dry. The only sweetness that's coming in is gotta be that, like musk, right? Yeah. And the champaka. So it's like that's, you mm -hmm. know, so it's got like this kind of like crumbly. I like, you know, not powdery, I would say, but like a weird dry incense smell. Yeah. I'm just yeah. gonna, I'm gonna put some on. I'm curious to see how much patch comes out of this. This kind of dries up right on the skin, like immediately in terms of the sweetness fading away and you getting some, like a blast of some of these other notes. It really reminds me of the black satin sheet ghost. I was, okay, so I was going to say that because there's a lot of crossover notes and I was yes. like, I wonder how similar it is though. And you probably were stoned when you modeled for that um, photo shoot. Right, so it is fitting. Yes, <laughs> this is the this smell is of Galen putting a black uh, sheet from Amazon over his head and having pictures taken of him in public at night by the LA River. This is really nice. I, <sighs> oh my god. It re I'm happy I went all the way in past the threshold because this is a very high end uh, head shop. It is. It is. They've you could got, maybe like... get your tarot cards read here also. There's just something mm -hmm. like really mystical and elegant about it. The incense and the musk just braiding together into this, you know, gorgeous. Yeah, and there is, I braid. can smell the eucalyptus just kind of like giving it like a little bit of a, a shiver. Yeah, there's like know? a kind of a brightness to it, which is nice again, because it's like, uh, this is like a head shop with like a lot of windows and light. Oh, and like white, yeah, white floor, white walls, white ceiling, and yeah. then just like fancy wood. Uh, counters. I can't afford to shop there. And you're like, wow, is this like a talent agency? But I can a... smell like I do. Oh yes, or I went to like a, a clinic store. like that to get a COVID test and it walked in and they had all of these like beautiful high-end like wellness products for sale on a thing on the wall. 
and it was just like maybe you could get like Hello? your own blood injected to your face there yeah. and also get you know your face ramrodded with the covid test anyway <laughs> i am still getting some of the play of the champaka you know the sweetness is there but it's i love how it's just gifted it, with this maturity and sophistication yeah. the grim reaper is ageless people it's a, it's a, a, a beauty beyond time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. much respect <laughs> and this weed is like a, just kind of like a shimmering like a kind of like hovering in the background mm -hmm. you know tying it all together I mean, definitely getting the weed, but it's very pleasant. Like, the one, the clown one, was a weed that kind of made me a little uneasy. Yes. And this one is weirdly reassuring. Like, you're going to have a good clean high, and you might even have enough energy to clean something. Yeah, one of those. Like a daytime sativa. I'm relaxed, but I'm effective. Like, unlike right now, where I'm nervous and, you know, a wreck. Oh, so, no. it's fine. We still got two more. To sniff through. Oh, I love this one so much. Okay. We're going to move on oh. to a Blacklight Reactive Wizard poster. The wizard's face in this is so fucked up. It's so great. He's got his tongue sticking out. His eyes are bloodshot. He's like, you know, there's nothing to do up in that tower. You know, of course Saruman turned to evil. Uh, you can only just like get high and hang out so long and then eventually you're just gonna have to do something right super boring mm -hmm. It's hard being a wizard. It is um, Everybody needs you for something, but nobody wants to hang out. Okay, so the notes for this it, uh, hemp flowers swirled in billows of incense smoke Interesting it sounds relatively straightforward. I've never smelled hemp flowers to my knowledge So now I get to learn I was expecting maybe that this would be a little close to the Grim Reaper. I mean, they would probably wear really well together, but they're quite different. They're quite different. This is like, yeah, more of an herbal, herbal incense kind of thing. It's like, headier. Yeah. Is it? And it is really incense uh, and maybe sandalwood. I think. Like, so, that's I think. What I'm... I think so. And it's also. Um, more floral, for sure, than the... It's really smoky. Like, it's very, like, it just smells very dense. Yeah, and like, that, that's that note that reminds me of the one, the Macbeth one we did for Independent Shakespeare Company, Tis Strange, because that was like a real smoky incense. Mm -hmm. Anytime the incense is billowing, if the perfumer says the incense is billowing, you know what to expect now. Wow. Okay. Again, um, surprisingly elegant. Can the world handle a bunch of like niche perfumes based on a concept that is extremely lowbrow, that sells at this price point and is actually a supremely, like it's like a hand blended, natural ingredient, beautiful smelling experience. Can all of these things coexist? You know, should they? It's, uh, it's it just boggles the mind. What will people do with this? Will you wear it? I hope you'll wear it. Really comforting. Again, another really good like tarot card reading perfume, I think. <sighs> this is the kind of thing where I actually feel like I would get some kind of contact high just from smelling it because like my brain and scent associations, will, it'll just like unlock like the correct neurons and my brain will be like, all right, we know what's happening. Everyone, you know, no sudden movements. Definitely frankincense. I guarantee it. Right, you heard it here. I'm like that. I, I, I we love. We're a very I frankincense know. heavy house. I would say that frankincense is up there with patchouli as one of the labs like most commonly used notes because I mean it's just so versatile and so heavenly. And Beth's Catholic. I mean, I just really appreciate how like the hemp flower. Yeah. And how, the, I don't really know, I can't describe what makes this more floral, but it's just like a different part of the plant, you know? Yeah, it's interesting that it is it is a step away from the, like, <laughs> bong water. Yes. And you really do get this, like, yeah, like dry herbal. Like, I feel the, um, the Grim Reaper was more resinous, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
really nice and just kind of like a surprisingly sweet, you know? There's like a real beautiful sweetness to it. It's, it's really nice. Okay. And it, it settles really well and is just kind of like... Yes. This will keep you, you know, calm not... on public transportation, even if it might make yeah. other people uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't think it will. Who cares what they think? Who cares? The last one we you have to try... What did you say? You gotta do what you gotta do. It's true. And I have to wear my perfume inspired by black light reactive posters uh, and decorated with tattoo artwork. I have to. It's, it's, what I it's my subculture. Um, okay, black light reactive wolf poster. We all knew there would be wolves involved, you know, and it's so funny because when we commissioned this artwork, I was kind of expecting some kind of like crazy three wolf moon style, mm -hmm. you and know, thing. And those t-shirts. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And we got this uh, Tex Avery, this hot pink Tex Avery wolf, which I was just so tickled by. And then when I got the scent notes from Beth, I was so excited because this is the one where, the other ones really surprised me in terms of where it went. This one is exactly what I thought she would make. It says, a hot feral blast of musk and weed smoke plunging through a mist dappled twilight forest. It's exactly, it's the platonic ideal of a blacklight reactive wolf poster in a head shop. And oh boy. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Country road, take me home. Now, it, again, there's this like initial cloud of weed that you have to kind of step through uh -huh. <laughs> to get to the other side. Uh -huh. There's a real chill to it, like an evergreen chill. There's yeah. like the weird, like the damp forest. And the musk, I'm not like, it, you know, we'll get there. Oh, I can, s the musk is like, I mean, from the bottle, I smell the musk. You have, yeah, I had, you have a much. I got like musk kapow. Musk kapow. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, it's uh, so I love. It reminds me a bit of Black Forest, uh, which is a general catalog one. It does remind a, me of Black Forest. A Black Musk, uh, damp forest. However, this one is less sweet. Yeah, um, and it also just has this like real like eighties slasher movie vibe. Yeah, that dirty wolf's up to no good. Yeah, right? it's like the campers are all screwing in their sleeping bags, not realizing that there's like a wolf out in the trees. But anyway, everything smells like a party. A wolf in the trees. <laughs> out in the trees! Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> run! <laughs> Throw your Burger King and run! Oh no. That's a deep cut. It is. I'm not going into that. Uh, okay, so let's get this on the skin. I love this so much in the bottle. Yeah, that's... I love that is a bad wolf. Considering how dry in a kind of a moisture <laughs> level, like the applause meter, but with moisture, considering how uh, dry some of these other ones are and like incensey and hot, like this one being so kind of like luridly damp and is, is really getting to me in a good way. It's like, this is um, not just sticky, but like slobbery. It's a lovely, beautiful, slobbery, evergreen wolf musk with a, a joint in its mouth. Wow. It is sweetening up a bit on the skin, I'm assuming because of the musk. Mm. This is what I want camping to be like, but it never is. <laughs> it's not just like a pine or anything. Like there's definitely like a blend of different botanicals in there here to make woods. it like, yeah. it's so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I can almost hear some kind of pipe organ playing. Like, it's just sort of... I mean, I am very stoned. <laughs> I think that was a leaf blower. <sighs> just a lovely chord, you know, like a good Phantom of the Opera chord of different, like, forest notes. I love this. I haven't really... So I haven't worn this one. I did smell it in the bottle when I was pouring yeah. them. And I was like, okay, yeah, I like this. Good to know. On the skin, I'm like, this is so incredible. This is giving me, like... It's like when you put on your goth clothes and go out into the, like the woods for a photo shoot. You're not really going to be camping. It's all right. about like the um, the fantasy, the glamour. Right. Yeah. It's that kind of thing. It is weirdly glamorous. Yeah. It's like spooky, um, but also weirdly laid back. You know. 
I really like it. I really like the masks. Like, I'm obsessed with the clown one because of how unusual it is and just, like, the whole trippy ride of it. I love That is my favorite of the collection so far. And there's not one of these that I don't like or wouldn't wear, surprisingly. This wolf one at the end, though, is, like, what you... I feel like I, I want to put this on before going out into battle, you know? Like, if I'm going out at night, you put on your blacklight reactive wolf poster and the world had just better watch out, you know, unless they have a silver bullet. Yeah. What do you think? Like, what's your... What's your poison? I'm gonna go over them again. Okay. Initially, I was like a very, I mean, that Alice poster is still really great. It's, uh, it's unassailable. The grapefruit has really settled. It's a though. beautiful it's like perfume, gone. like standalone product, and the illustration, the humor from the illustration, I think, is just the grace note that just makes it preposterously a must-have. I think I'm obsessed with that Grim Reaper though, because that like that's, that's perfect. I mean, I think they're all really incredible. I'm like, but like the Grim Reaper and the, um, the wolf or whatever. Disco. Let the neighbors be. Peace and love, man. I, oh, that's so funny because our dog treats are in a weed canister. So weirdly, he did get, you know, a Scooby snack today. It's not, there's nothing it's in not, it. It's, but it's, it's like, you know, thematic. Right. One day, it, uh, once upon a time, it was. Right. Uh, I mean, he's fed by stoned humans all the time. It's like, he's <laughs> part of the subculture. Do you have more treats for me? We literally do. <laughs> now it's the munchies part of the episode, <laughs> where Disco gets to have munchies. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> do you want to just empty this treat can right now, decadently? Wow. What if you got to have, like, a lot of treats? Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, choose whole through hand. What if I ended this episode with a very slobbery hand? We could, we could end it that way, yeah. Maybe. What if I yes? made it so that I had never said that sentence? What if I found a time machine and went back and was like, stop, don't say that. Um, You're filming. We're straining the limits of our professional credibility as it is. I mean, I can just edit it. No. Keep it in. No, keep it in. Show the people how real I am. I know. This is the thing. Sadly, <laughs> tragically, we have nothing to hide. And what we're selling literally is, you know, what you're getting. So, if anyone... I'm curious, people who've bought Blacklight Reactive Poster in the past, I'm curious to see how it's aged. If you've tried it recently, I would love to hear more about your Blacklight Reactive Poster experience. The fragrance, and I suppose in real life, since we're the ones who brought it up. By doing all of these things, please go look up John Herndon uh, on Instagram. You can follow his accounts there. His tattoo art is bananas. I thought it was, you know, so fun to create this, like, flash page of different cool, like, 420 designs. So, like, if anyone wants to get them as tattoos, um, be sure... I don't know. I didn't ask John about getting his permission or tip the guy. Something. Make sure John gets something out of it because they're really, really great. And I think that people should have them um but much love to him for creating some of the craziest art that we've had in a while and that's saying something yeah considering that drew roush is constantly you know out crazy out crazying himself <laughs> yeah <laughs> so any final thought he's like no more treats more there's treats. no more that's it treat the treat portion of the show is done you've been treated you yeah but, um, yes, now we're just going to blather unless something happens to stop this video. Hmm. Can it stop? Can it be stopped? Uh, yes? Oh, it's, sorry, it just seemed like you were going to say something. I, I ran, well, we smelled Ooh. the perfumes, and I did my due diligence in terms of crediting the artist, and, uh... <laughs> Now we're... And then we say... Goodbye? Is that what it is? Disco, why don't you start? Disco. Alert! Say something. Just hypnotizes you with his... <laughs> no! He just flopped so hard. Alright, so... Um, <laughs> with that, I yes. guess we're gonna go try to get some work done. And we will, um, we think, you know, b 
Why do I have to do it? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you were talking. I know. All right. Do you, do you want me to do it? Somebody needs to do okay. something. Well, I think that we have officially reached the end of our video because it's we are... 15 minutes of fume followed by 15 minutes of cringe. Right. Um, We've officially entered the cringe part. Oh. So let's wrap that up. I think we actually reached the climax of the cringe part, and now it's all just a, you know, happy goodbye, and happy 420, and, you know, legalize it, and uh, commute the sentences of everyone who was imprisoned for weed related crimes before it was legalized, which largely disproportionately affected uh, communities of color and, you know, the whole 420 thing. Yes. Right? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's, I'm hungry. We have to go. Bye. Bye. Happy 420.